Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture 77. So, uh, we were working with orbit determination in that context. Uh, in the last lecture, we have uh, determined the Jacobian matrix. Okay, now, we progress further. So, in the orbit determination, as I have stated earlier, that the objective is to determine This is the inertial reference frame x, y, z and earth is here. And with respect to this inertial frame earth is rotating and we can show the this is the equatorial plane of earth which is not coinciding with the x, y plane. But right now for simplicity just assume that uh, they are the same okay. because uh, I want to show you something what we are trying to do or either let us forget about the inertial frame and we assume that this is our terrestrial frame x t y t and z t this is the terrestrial terrestrial reference frame which is fixed to the earth at its center and this is also called the figure fixed reference frame. So, that I have described you this is a ITRF in international terrestrial reference frame. Okay, so, in this we have somewhere ground station location Greenwich meridian may be anywhere we are not worried about right now about this and from there and this is the outward normal z direction east direction we are taking along this and the north direction we are taking along this. So, this is your north pole here say and then the observation is being made from this place. Satellite is here and as the satellite moves in the orbit, so this is your row and next time your row will change. So, if we look here in this frame. So, this we call as the topocentric reference frame Z T P and Y T P topocentric reference frame X T P Y T P and Z T P. this is your row vector satellite is being observed this we take as azimuth elevation so you are making your observation from this place so what you have available we write this as y tilde equal to row 
rho dot azimuth and elevation. Call the range, range rate, azimuth, elevation. So, these are the four observations you are making at any particular instant of time. Now, you have automatic machines, we have presumed that we have all the facilities available, so that rho, rho dot, azimuth and elevation can be directly measured. So, once we do the measurement, so let us say this is the first measurement you have done. So, this way you have y 1 tilde, y 2 tilde up to y n tilde, you have made n number of observations. and you need to determine what the value of x 0 tilde will be, x 0 tilde which consists of x 1 tilde 0, x 2 tilde 0 or this 0 we can keep it outside x 3 tilde up to x 6 tilde. That means, at the initial state t equal to t 0, what is the the state slash position velocity, position and velocity of the spacecraft in the inertial frame, in the inertial frame. So, how do we start? So, for this what is required that we are making observations from the ground station and this we write as y observation tilde which you are doing here. So, this becomes your observed value and here we can write let us say this first one this is the first number observation, but we write here the observed to indicate this is being measured y observed is y tilde measured using instruments. So, let us assume that from inertial navigation system system x tilde 0 is available, but it is not correctly known. Okay. So, this implies that your rocket has overperform, underperform. So, wherever you wanted to inject the satellite in the orbit, say if, uh, this is the orbit you are looking for and you are going and injecting your satellite here in this place. And this position you have mathematically fixed, but while you are going here, so your rocket is overperforming, underperforming. So, the with the velocity it will inject that will differ, it may go beyond this point. Okay. So, it is a velocity and position will not remain the same. Moreover, your inertial navigation system it, it may not give you exactly the correct value. Okay, so, at the time of injection. So, if at the time of injection some error is there in the state which we are writing as x tilde 0, then your orbit will change considerably. And if this problem happens, so you do not know where in which orbit is going, you are pointing your uh, tracking system in some direction and your satellite is somewhere else. So, it cannot be tracked in that condition. Okay. So, therefore, this value needs to be corrected, this needs to be corrected. And for doing this, what we do? we apply the least square correction, which we are doing also called the least square estimation. So, 
So, we write it like this let us say y observe tilde this is your z tilde and this equal to g times x tilde plus nu tilde where this is your noise vector. nu tilde this implies this is nu 1, nu 2 up to nu 6. So, all the measurements are con contaminated by noise and in this format it is a uh, least square estimation we apply in the form of the metric inversion and other things. So, it is not possible. So, what we do that we write it like this delta y observation equal to delta z tilde equal to dou g by dou x tilde times delta x tilde plus nu tilde. This of uh, noise mat vector it is a kept like this while you are linearizing the system, but this noise does not get altered. Okay. So, here this part this quantity we can rewrite in the form dou g by dou x tilde okay, this whole thing will write. See what we are trying to do is to uh, solve for delta x the correction required in x 0. So, we need if we can correct for say the initial value del x 0 tilde is known. So, if we correct it by certain quantity delta x 0. So, this is your updated value the next again you correct this and let us say this is your uh, x tilde the uh, 0, but after the first correction and after the second correction this will become again 2 and so on. So, after few iteration you will see that uh, this converges the your error in the observed value actually the, the, this is a little difficult topic uh, for the beginners and uh, uh, I will make you understand what I am doing exactly in a different way. So, th th this is the actual trajectory in one dimension I am showing actual trajectory and this is t and here x and y both are plotted okay. some relationship is there. So, uh, this is your exact actual trajectory which is unknown and these are the observed values around this you have done at different instant of time. So, using this observed values you have to determine this trajectory this is the objective here. So, instead of doing this in just in one dimension we are doing this in six dimension. So, in our case the case is little complicated in the way that y tilde this is 4 into 1 matrix or vector and uh, x tilde this is 6 into 1 matrix or vector. So, uh, th this is a 4 dimensional vector and this is a 6 dimensional vector and from 4 dimension to using 4 equations as I was explaining in the last class that if we try to solve for x plus y equal to 5 we will get infinite number of solution. So, using just one set we cannot determine this set just using row, row dot azimuth and elevation we cannot determine this x 1, x 2, x 3 up to x 6 which is nothing but your x y z and x dot y dot z dot this is not possible okay. and therefore, we choose this a uh, multiple sets of this. So, the at the first instant of in observation then second instant of observation. So, total n number of observations we make and from there then we try to determine this part okay. and in that course this uh, the least square estimation it appears. 
So, we will come to this point. So, what we have done that if you see that if the between the y observed is known to you this is itself contaminated with noise. Okay. So, this is not correct this is not the exact value, but it is a because of the presence of this this also gets contaminated means this is not your exact measurement. Okay. So, what we do that we assume that the say here this is your x 0 okay, at this point this is your x 0 at corresponding t equal to t 0, but we are not aware of this value this is unknown and let us say that I assumed a nearby value here in this region. So, it, it is coming either here or here because it is in one dimension and then I propagate the state. And once we propagate the state, so you will see that some error is with the real trajectory, actual trajectory, there, there is difference, okay. it is not the same. Here uh, you have the this much of error, here this much of error, okay. so these are the errors. This is your the actual one and this is actual and this is uh, nominal if we assume initial value and propagate the state x tilde dot equal to f x tilde, where x tilde equal to x tilde 0 at t equal to t 0. So, if we assume this that this is in available from the initial navigation system, then we can propagate it this can be done using x tilde equal to f x tilde d t integrate from t 0 to t. So, this gives you x t and uh, very simple in MATLAB you have the Runge Kutta uh, scheme. So, you can use that or uh, if you are looking for very accurate then there are many other methods which can be used for doing the precise integration. Okay. So, the issue is not of here uh, which uh, numerical method I should use to integrate I am presuming that those things are left for afterwards once you advance then only you can think of doing all those things. So, here once it is a propagated then you have the x t l available at different instant of time okay. and y t observed is also available to you. So, this x t this can be converted to y calculated y calculated which we write as y c tilde okay this is y calculated y c tilde and how we are calculating using this equation. So, once we calculate you can see that there is no noise only thing the y calculated will differ from the y observed because the initial value of the state you are assuming x equal to x 0 this is not correct. This is coming from the inertial navigation system this is not correct and therefore, once you integrate it. So, it will follow this route it, it will go like this. So, this is not your the right thing then you need to. So, using this observation y observation the question is using this y observation can we correct this x 0. Okay. So, this is x 0 assumed x 0 assumed and this is x 0 unknown actual value the initial state which is unknown. So, we have to find out this state and we are assuming the state to be here and accordingly the trajectory if we propagate using this scheme. So, it is a going along this direction and then th these are the errors here. Okay. So, this one dimension it is appearing very simple, but in multiple dimension it becomes complex especially here in this case the kind of relation we have having. Therefore, the question is that 
y of z is available and from there if we subtract this y calculated this is delta y. So, using this can we determine delta x tilde 0 which is the correction required at the initial time. this is the question and this we have to address here. So, this delta y because y has a relationship given like this y equal to x tilde. So, therefore, delta y tilde we can write as dou z by dou x tilde times dou x tilde by dou x 0 tilde times delta x 0 tilde. This is using the chain rule. And if we write this as the H matrix, this quantity we need to determine. And remember, this is uh, dou z by dou x, this is at the same time. Okay. Here, x is at time t, while this x 0 is time t 0. So, if we know all these quantities, then we shall be able to and let us say this we write as uh, say if you remember that delta x tilde this we have written as uh, phi after in the transition matrix format. So, basically this quantity here it appears as your transition matrix and this transition matrix we can write as phi times delta x tilde 0. So, now this is casted in the form of matrix equation okay. and therefore, delta x tilde 0 this can be written as h phi and let us say this is we write as the pseudo inverse those who are some basic requirement is there in the linear algebra. So, that uh, you can understand it. So, then this delta x 0 is decided and this delta x 0 then we apply to the and write this as the after first iteration we get this equal to x 0 tilde plus delta x tilde 0. So, every time we have to determine after first propagating from this point to this point the state this is x tilde 0 x tilde t we are doing all these calculations and then we are applying to this we are applying to this after finding out this uh, delta x 0. Okay. So, then this is the updated value. Now, we will replace with this replace this with x tilde 0 1. Once this is replaced again the new value which which may be after correction it may lie somewhere here and then we propagate okay. and your actual trajectory may be somewhere here. this is your actual trajectory which is unknown and this is updated trajectory. This is updated trajectory. So, is this way if you keep it iterating the next again after this gets updated. So, this is x 0 2 that means, after update let us say this comes to somewhere here in this point. Okay. And once we propagate this comes closer to this and after doing all these corrections applying these corrections. So, next time you have x tilde 0 3. So, after few iteration this will go to the actual trajectory 
and now how do we know that the this has converts to the actual trajectory this will be known from the fact that this delta y will it has to get minimized in the sense of a square. So, if we can minimize delta y tilde transpose delta y tilde and this writing this as the error function 1 by 2 times like this ok and if this quantity can be minimized it, it, it should reduce over the iteration once you are doing like this going from one trajectory to another trajectory after applying all these corrections. So, this will minimize so, initially say it, E might be some numerical value uh, let us say it is uh, 100. So, as you progress do this iteration, so it will come down come down and it will go to 1 and then it will come in fraction. So, after some tolerance is reached you cannot stop the iteration and the process that we do here it is called the batch processing ok. We take all the data points here on the trajectory and then do the processing. So, for the beginners it is a little difficult to understand and uh, uh, moreover because we have very little classes uh, already if, uh, I have crossed 8 lectures ok um, only 5 lectures were meant for this. So, in few lectures I am trying to wind it up and I will supply you material on this written hand handwritten material. So, that it will become a ready reference for to you to understand uh, later on uh, once uh, you are not in touch with me. Okay. So, till this extent we have done this the next thing will be this comes at the end. So, in the process uh, let me summarize what is required that x tilde equal to f x tilde this equation is given to us and also y tilde this equal to g x tilde is given to us. Here this is the obser observation, so it comes with noise. So, we linearize this part y tilde equal to dou g by dou x tilde dou x tilde by dou x tilde 0 times delta x tilde 0 and plus nu we write like this and then this is h times phi delta x tilde 0 and plus nu. So, minimize this error this is our objective. at the next time uh, so in this linearized form it appears as nu equal to delta y tilde minus h times phi delta x tilde 0 Okay, we are writing in this format and this quantity we would like to minimize. What is the benefit? It will be visible to you. Okay. Now, here for convenience let us assume that this delta y we write as z tilde and this part we write as B matrix okay. and delta x tilde 0 uh, let us write this as per alpha tilde 0.
So, if we want to minimize with what we want to minimize. So, how much correction is to be given here in this place? This quantity is fixed by y observed minus y calculated. So, and this is your delta y. So, how much correction I give here so that this quantity gets minimized? And for that, then because delta x 0 we are replaced by alpha 0. So, therefore, this we differentiate with respect to alpha 0 and set it to 0. Okay, and, and thereafter you just solve it. So, this is your z tilde you can expand it also and uh, then work it out. Uh, I will take a shortcut basically here this can be written as 2 times one minute. So, the quantity uh, we need to uh, let us write it first expand it and then we will do the other part this is uh, B transpose or so this becomes because this is vector. So, alpha 0 tilde transpose times B transpose and then z tilde minus b times alpha 0 tilde So, here then this will get reduced to once you difference this quantity will be equal to 0 here alpha 0 is there. So, we get here the first quantity as so we have dou e by dou alpha 0 tilde this equal to minus z tilde transpose times b. Then the next one. Okay, here we have to little, we have to be little careful in writing this. If uh, if you look here in this quantity, so this is a vector, and you are taking the inner product of this vector here, and therefore this turns out to be a, a scalar. Okay, but then we differentiate this scalar with respect to a vector. So, this will again become a vector and uh, this is also a, a scalar and then when you differentiate with respect to a vector. So, this becomes also a vector. So, these two can be combined together and let us go on the next page or we can continue here. Okay. So, then we differentiate this part. So, again this is not differentiated, this is not differentiated, we have to differentiate with respect to this. So, the quantity then uh, if you look into this part, so this can be again written as z tilde trans z tilde times b transpose times alpha 0 whole transpose. Okay, so, it is the same quantity only thing they are written in the this format.
So, we need to uh, differentiate it one by one. Okay. Let us complete this part first. So, this part uh, this is the this part is 0 this once we differentiate this becomes 0 this 2 we have to decide and uh, this part is the transpose of this. Okay. This we can write as b transpose b times alpha tilde 0. This is the way we can write. So, this is your third part. So, this comes with a plus sign okay. and because this quantity, this quantity and this quantity both are same. So, rather than here writing in this format, see this is z transpose b tilde we have written. So, whether this is consistent with this notation or not, uh, I would like to write here dou e by dou alpha 0, say this is dou e by this tilde. So, dou e by in alpha 0 this is because it is a vector of 6 dimensional vector 6 into 1. So, I would like to write this as alpha 0 1 dou uh, dou e by dou alpha 0 2 and so on. Okay. So, I, I would like to present this in this vector format. Okay. If I do so, then at that time you can see that if I write here in this format, it will not be consistent with that. Okay. Because here z, let us say z here in this case is 4 into 1 vector okay. and b is uh, uh, 4 into uh, b we have written somewhere on the previous page this h times 5 we have written as b somewhere okay h 5 we have written as b here okay so 4 into 6 this is uh, let us say this is 4 into uh, 6 and this part is 6 into 6. So, this becomes 4 into 6. So, your b is 4 into 6 and if we operate on this by so, th th this part uh, first we will take this part. Okay. So, in this part b transpose is uh, 6 into 4 and uh, this part b then becomes 4 into 6. So, this becomes 6 into 6 matrix. So, this particular part is 6 into 6 matrix and here in this place we have to decide how much this will come and in what format it should come. So, that we finally, get it here in this format. So, rather than writing here it in this format if we write it this way that because we know that this and this term they are the same. Okay. These are the scalar terms and they will give the same value because both are exactly the same only thing they differ by transpose here. Okay. So, because it is the inside is scalar so it does not matter okay. and therefore, we write this quantity as 2 times we can write this as b transpose it is a better written as b transpose. So, that it becomes see if uh, b is 4 times uh, 4 times 6 b is of dimension 4 times 6. So, b transpose becomes 6 times 4. So, if, uh, b transpose and then z tilde. So, this becomes 4 into 1. So, this becomes 6 into 1 size and here also this is 6 into 6 into 6 into 1 size. This alpha 0 is of 6 into 1 size. So, this becomes 6 into 1. So, this way then the consistency exists. So, this part you have to particularly take care of that if once you differentiate it and otherwise you just uh, write expansion of this differentiate and you will see that it gets reduced to this format. Okay. And because alpha 0 is present here and alpha 0 is present here. So, for that reason a 2 will also appear in this place.
and then finally, what we are doing? We are setting this quantity equal to 0. So, here we can summarize the thing. So, dou E by dou alpha 0, this equal to 0, this becomes minus B transpose 2 can be eliminated z tilde times this equal to oh, or sorry this is plus this plus B transpose B times alpha tilde 0. And once we try to solve it for alpha tilde 0, so this will give us B transpose B inverse times B times z tilde B times z tilde. So, this part you should verify okay, by taking the this matrix. So, rather than you can differentiate it, you can also differentiate it, but finally, you put here in this format. Both of them can be combined and it can be written in this way. And once you have written in th this way, see I can expand and write all the mathematics, but we do not have time. Okay, and while trying to be very brief, uh, I also get the problem that how to present you, so that we can finish this fast within few lectures. Okay. So, what alpha 0 we have written? Alpha 0 is not, nothing but your delta x 0. So, this way you have estimated delta x 0. Okay. So, your alpha 0 is nothing but delta x 0, which is the quantity B transpose B inverse B times delta and z is your y delta y. So, here we have written delta y we have replaced by z ok. This is your z tilde this particular part. So, then this comes with z tilde equal to y tilde uh, z is y tilde delta y tilde. And here this is delta x 0. So, at a particular instant of time. So, instead of working like this, this is just for one data set let us say, but if you have multiple data set. So, you will see that at first instant you have available, then other instant you will have this available. So, delta y 1 similarly delta y 2 tilde and you have up to delta y n tilde. And each of them can be represented in terms of delta x 0. Okay. So, that means, your the representation if we are doing here this gets complicated in that case. So, once you combine, but ultimately the result will be the same it will come here in this format and from there then this delta x 0 can be estimated once you have estimated this x 0. So, x 0 tilde nu which is after the first iteration after doing this operation you get this as x tilde 0 plus or uh, we will name this as 1 not as the new. So, that we know that after first iteration this is. Now, follow this process. So, the next time this delta x tilde 0 2 will be x 0 tilde 1 plus delta x and here we can put as 1 and this we can put as 2 correction given at the second iteration. Similarly, if you keep on doing this, so you get finally the converged result delta x 0 converged. And once you have got this, then A E i small omega capital omega theta all this can be determined using the standard equation. Okay, so, we stop here and we will continue in the next lecture.